So is there someone in your life that is toxic to you or that is honestly just bringing you lots of bad energy or you feel a lot of bad energy when they come around you or when you come in contact with them or do you feel like someone may be sending you bad energy from afar or it could be a family member a friend um, and you just feel like they have a evil eye against you well that is actually a real thing and that's probably why you clicked this video and we're going to be discussing um energetic cord cutting today and how we can cut away those toxic people and the, that negative energy out of our life um, for good. So that's what we're going to be discussing today. As a medium psychic, this is something that I have to do on a regular basis, especially because I do so many readings and come in contact with so many people and the spirit world and so many energies that I have to be able to know how to cut that energy away from my my aura field and my life okay so i have my script here that i, that I wrote for you guys and i'm going to explain to you what cord cutting and the importance uh what the importance of cord cutting is okay so cord cutting is a very common practice in both spiritual and um secular traditions the practice of cord cutting helps to recover energy that has been lost and to reestablish healthy energetic boundaries so a lot of the times when we're cutting um, cords and cutting this energy from our life, it's because we're cutting energy cords and creating new space at the same time. So when we enter into a relationship with someone, whether it is with family, friends, an intimate partner, a colleague, someone who you have regular, regular dealings with, someone that you're dealing with in your work uh, situation, or even an individual that you meet in passing, we develop energetic cords. And these cords aren't necessarily bad. Um, they can actually help us to form connections and understandings with one another. When we are connected energetically, we perceive on a much deeper level and have the ability to turn, tune into the energy of one another. So we are all energy beings. While we tend to interact with the world through our five physical senses, the truth is that our primary, primary means of relating is actually energetically. So I do talk about energy a lot in my videos and how everything including us comes down to the fact that we are energy so it makes sense that we connect energetically with each other and we can all intuitively feel this um, we just don't know how to explain it a lot of the time so as we move through our lives growing learning and evolving uh, we must we must necessarily let go of that which no longer serves us when we let go we create space and this space is that of potential and of possibility so making the transition um, by letting go, okay? So you can think of this like many small steps of a transition. Each day we are evolving, learning and growing beyond what we once were, holding on to what was and would prevent us from moving forward in life. If we were to continue accumulating all of the leftovers from every past thought, action, and experience, we would be heavily weighted down by the burden of it all. When we transition from one way of being to another, whether that is via relationships with another person or family or another person or simply how we relate to life, it is necessary to let go of what is no longer helpful. In terms of relationships with others, we tend to hold on to much more than what is healthy for us energetically, physically, and even spiritually. Cutting energy cords help us to move through the transition without the burden of carrying the weight of the past. It frees us to move forward with lightness and a sense of openness and willingness to move forward in our life. So combating an energy deficit, all right? So cutting cords, uh, energy cords doesn't apply just to past relationships or um, any relationship in general that are draining you. Um, we also choose to cut cords in our present relationships, even those that, that are really great for us as a way of continually cleansing the energy between us and creating space for the new. You can visualize an energetic cord as a tube connecting us to another person um, with energy flowing within the tube. If the cord is depleting us, the energy will be flowing away from us. If the cord is feeding us, energy will be flowing towards us. At times, this energy flow may, may seem very helpful. Um, and we can share our energy with someone who seems to need it. And we can receive energy when we feel depleted as well. So a lot of the times if we're an empath, we talk about this a lot, how we absorb other people's energy. So this is exactly what we're doing. We're absorbing energy from other people on a daily basis. And we can we can feel this. Sometimes, sometimes it's um, 
depleted energy, sometimes it's positive energy. We, we can feel, intuitively feel what kind of energy we are getting from this person or situation. Um, we need to watch out for the potential of energy imbalances that occurs when we maintain this connection for too long, or if we are giving our energy when we don't have the energy to give. So oftentimes, even long after a relationship has ended, we maintain these energetic cords of people or situations, and they can be so subtle that we don't even know that they are there. But an accumulation of cords for many people and the slow depletion of energy over time creates an energy deficit. So what are some signs of unhealthy cording or that you may have some energy attachments to other people still? Um, so if your energy levels are always depleted, if you're always feeling tired, feelings of general um, depression and unexplained sadness, feelings of being stuck or unable to make a decision, obsessive thoughts about another person, speaking often about another person, often in judgmental or uh, depreciating ways, lowered immune function and getting sick often, unhealthy habits and addictive behaviors, seeking comfort and access such as smoking, binge eating, drinking drugs, and even seemingly healthy habits such as over-exercising, feeling the need to shower often, feel, feeling like you are being toxic to others, or poor judgment in all situations. Sorry, excuse me, my allergies outside um, are awful today. So we're gonna get now into cord cutting rituals um, and how to release energy cords, okay? So while we are a culture that likes to try to think our way through things, um, in order to regain energy that we have lost through cord connections, we must engage energetically. There are many ways to cut cords and establish energetic boundaries, and I will um, talk about a few of them to you now. So one of them is guided meditations, which I do have a couple on my channel. I'm trying to add more and trying to find the time to give you guys more, but um, guided meditations are great. There is cord cutting meditations you can find on YouTube. Um, there's actually lots of them, so you can listen to those. You can take a salt bath. So salt helps to cleanse our energetic body and brings you into a state of balance once again. And smudging, which is the ritual of cleansing with smoke, is one is one that purifies the energetic body and helps to reestablish connections with the divine. So through journaling, um, we can actually write out everything that you have been wanting to say to the other person, and don't hold back with what you what you're feeling. Okay, um, you can share your frustrations and your desires, and after you are complete, you may choose to burn the writing as a symbol of release. Another really great way to cut the cords is visualization. Um, in your mind's eye, which I talk about my third eye quite a bit too, you can visualize the individual you wish to cut a cord with and scissors so that you can cut out the cord. Um, so you're visualizing the scissors cutting the cord. Um, a lot of the times I will ask Archangel Michael to cut the cords as well for me. And you can begin by connecting to the energy of the divine, the source of all creation. Um, the energetic, see the energetic cord that connects you with the other person and feel the energy that is draining from you. Now, with intention, visualize yourself cutting the cord between you with the scissors and the witness, and witness as the energetic cord recoils back into both you and the other. Take a moment to anchor the experience by feeling the recovery of energy and thanking the other person for the role that they had to play or did play in your lifetime. You may choose to speak the following blessings after these practices for cutting energetic cords. I now serve and release any of all the energetic cords that do not serve my highest good. I release you and I release me from these binds. All cords are destroyed across all dimensions, times and planes, never to return again. I hereby banish these energetic cords and recover now all energy that was once lost. My energy flows back to me, filling me once again with vitality and creating now a peaceful energetic boundary of love and light. And so it is. So after you've spoken the blessing, spend some time sitting in the quiet meditation and feel the energy that has been reclaimed and take the time needed to reintegrate. Imagine yourself now being cloaked in a luminescent blanket of energetic protection. This coating of light is your energetic boundary. See and feel how this boundary helps you to maintain your highest level of energy. Intend that this boundary remain in place as you step confident confidently towards into your day. Okay? And from personal experience, um, the, the visualization especially works extremely, extremely well. Um, you can also even just call on whatever archangel or your spirit guides to help you in your meditation and through this practice. 
and that is usually what I do and I always feel much lighter after and it just it's it's almost like clearing and cleaning your energetic aura field sort of like when we shower our bodies I always tell people that we also need to shower our energy body okay so I hope that helps you guys with those toxic people toxic situations or just that energy that you don't want in your life anymore I hope it helps and yeah you can follow my channel i do a lot more of the uh, meditations on my i do meditations on my channel i do readings true crime readings tarot card readings lots of things so if you could follow like subscribe i appreciate you so much and it just it helps my channel grow and i'm sending love and light to all of you guys and i hope you have a wonderful day bye everybody